Hey everyone! As you probably know, Blender version 3.5 is now out, bringing us some new awesome features and improvements in the field of rendering, hair system and also sculpting. Today we will go over the vector displacement maps or VDMs. What is it? Well, VDMs are basically like a stencil. They contain the shape and the details we sculpt and it gives us the ability to use those already sculpted details basically on any mesh we want, so it's basically like a stencil. And before that, for the same thing, we used the alphas. So what's the difference between an alpha and a VDM? Well, VDM has the ability not only to capture surface detail, but it can capture the volume, otherwise the overhangs and undercuts, for example on horns or a nose or even eyes. VDM is a good solution for those. So, as you can see now, I'm currently on the Blender page and I went to the release notes page and here I scrolled all the way down. You're going to find this vector displacement maps. So, as you can see here, we have a great showcase of what the VDM can do. What you want to do now is to click on the download the demo file. Then, you're going to extract it into one of your folders. The next thing you want to do is open up your Blender file. So, the first we want to make our shape that we are going to be using. So, in the object mode, shift A, add not a plane, but a grid. It's located down here. Then, as you can see, we have a grid, but it does not have enough geometry. So we, we need to add some more if we want to sculpt on it. So we want to go to the object modifier properties, add a modifier, multi-resolution. And now, you don't want to click on the subdivide button because you can see the edges get subdivided as well. So let's return that. You want to click here on simple. So about five times should be good. And now you can go to the sculpt mode. Here, feel free to sculpt whatever you want. I'm just going to do a shape like this. So let me increase my strength and radius. So I'm going to do some surface detail like this. For example, let's say this is sort of a scale. Then let me just draw some square strips like this. And then we will use the elastic deform brush to bring it above. Because that is what VDMs are for. They can easily transfer all this detail with no problem like this. Should look like this when we sculpt. Okay, and now that we are done with sculpting, what we want to do is append a material that we are going to be using for baking from the file that we downloaded from the Blender page. So, once you have extracted the file, you want to go back to Blender, File, then you want to press on the Append button. Then, when you find your folder here, you're going to notice this VDM brush demo. So you need to find that. And in there, you can see there are multiple folders. You want to click on the VDM creating brushes. Then, on the video menu of baking demo. And we are going to be presented by a bunch of files. You want to select on the material one. And here, select the VDM baking material and append. Now, well, you can go to object mode, but have the grid selected. And then under the material properties, you want to select this part here and you're going to see the VDM baking material. When I press it, nothing happens because we need to switch to the viewport shading. Now you can see the information, otherwise the height is being stored here. This is where we switch to the UV editing or I prefer shading tab. When in shading tab, you can see our VDM baking material. And what you want to do now is 
first select the texture select the panel on which we have our details then go to the active tool and workspace settings and below it you have the render property so it's going to be defaultly on eevee you want to see switch to cycled for baking and then from device CPU, use GPU because it is faster and it just will give you better results. And under here you can see this tab called Baking or Bake. Click on it and we want to set the bake type. We are going to be using the Emit Bake type. So click on it. Other things should be fine. Make sure you have the medium bake selected, the texture selected. Then scroll all the way up here and click on bake. It should take a few moments, it depends. And now you can see here you should have something like this. This means it is baked. Click those three things, then image and save as. So I have a file here. Let's name it point three save as an image. Now our baking material exists. We can hide or delay this. I'm just going to hide it. Let's add a simple cube. Then let's do the same thing we have done for the grid. Use the multi-resolution, then simple subdivide it a bunch more times, like seven, eight. Go to the scope node. Now you want to make sure you do all of these things. You want your brush to be selected on the draw brushes, otherwise use the scope draw brush. Then under texture you should have selected this on tiled. Nope. You want to change it to area plane, which is the only mapping option that gives you the ability to enable vector displacing. Okay, now once you enable that, Another thing you want to do is go to stroke from the space method, select anchor. That is just how you're going to draw. And it's easier for you to just drag a detail you want than to paint it. And now you don't want to go here, but you want to go to the texture properties, click on new, and then click on open. Here you want to find your VDM you want, open the image. And now you should have videos and they will be working perfectly. As you can see, these are very detailed. And if you have less detail here than you had on your VDM, do not worry. But increasing the resolution on your object will also increase the resolution of VDMs. Hope you find this useful and thank you for watching. Please consider sharing, subscribing as well. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.